Hi everyone, welcome to my trainer. So this video I will proceed to the STPM Biology Semester 3 Chapter 40 under topic Kingdom Alamilia, uh, the fifth phylum about phylum mollusca. So if you see this picture, what are the species under phylum mollusca? Ah, ini lah, snail. Ah, <laughs> yang paling famous snail. Yang ni saya tak tahu bahasa Malay dia cakap apa. Tapi I know Mandarin. Uh, yang ni dua saya tak pernah nampak. But the famous one is snail. Okay. For this video, I just only will explain the characteristic under phylum mollusca. Okay. okay. So the characteristic of mollusca, you will see this picture actually is under the basic body plan. So if you see this kind of picture, what what can you refer? Snail, right? Uh, so this is a basic plan like a snail uh, for a snail. So <clears throat> okay, so same as the previous phylum, you have to know that it is triboplastic chordomat animals. So actually, it is same already same as the phylum Arthropoda. Arthropoda also phytoplastic chordomat also, and also they have little twist of segmentation. They also have segmentation, but little bit. Compared to Atropoda, uh, Atropoda is totally have segmentation, but for the Monusca, just little trace of segmentation. And they are also bilaterally symmetric, except class Gasopoda is due to the torsion. Uh, Gasopoda is not uh, bilaterally, bilateral. And they have soft body. Uh, body dia mereka sangat lembut sahaja. But saya tak, tak kira siaw, siaw mereka. If you see, you say sh a snail, a snail body there soft meta because of the shell, because the shell is uh, hard. But actually, if you remove the shell, its body is very soft. On it. Uh, if you remove the shell, actually the sh the body is very soft. And so, due to their soft body, they have to cover by shell made from calcium carbonate. So they have to shell protect their body. Now, our expose their body, their lembut lembut their badan mereka dalam tu lah. So tak uh, so hanya satu uh, ada satu barang berat berat hit mereka, uh, mereka pati lah. Tak boleh. So they have to shelf for that then. Okay. Okay. So their body is divided into three main parts. So the first part is food. Food. I think don't need to explain detail lah for movement. Lah. And then the second part is vestibular mass. Vestibular mass yang ni. So content internal organ yang ini part ini ada banyak organ mereka di sini. Insyaallah yang paling penting adalah mental. Okay, mental form of tissue that drips over the vestibular mass and secret shaft. So dia di sini awak tengok blue color punya form of tissue that drips over the Vesicular mass and secret cell. Ini part lah yang men, yang akan menghasilkan uh, menghasilkan shell for the phylum mollusca organism. So mental can extend beyond the vesicular mass to produce water fill chamber called mental cavity. And mental cavity will hold up the gills, anus, and excretory bowl. Hmm, ini function untuk mental lah. Okay, okay, and how do they obtain nutrients? So they obtain nutrients by vedula. So vedula is this. With this vedula. Awa tengo ni la. Vedula ya awa tengo tazam 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 itu. Tazam tazam mereka. Itu la vedula. So it is the mouth. It is located in the mouth region and it is vesping and tooth like structure using in feeding. It is macam gigi gigi kita la. Uh, mereka nak makan makanan, uh, nak makan makanan, mereka akan guna uh, macam human nak makan makanan akan guna gigi kan. So yang ni mereka guna vedula. So the teeth which is backward curve repeatedly thrust upward then retract into the mouth. Uh, so inilah gigi mereka. So the mouth region in many mollusk species contain a base like feeding organ called vedula. So this belt of backward so inilah. So they have excretory organ known as mental nephridium. Ah, ini line excretory organ mereka lah called mental nephridium. 
like our excretory organ for human is kidney right but for this kind of phylum they call mental nephidium and then the gases actually is too diffusion in gears now in here ha, in gears okay okay and okay and Okay, they are involved in open circulatory system. They are also in open circulatory system, same as uh, Atropoda. So, in this one, I don't think I'm going to explain. Okay, nervous system consists of a blood ring around the esophagus that extends from the nerve cord. So, their nervous system composed of nerve ring around the esophagus. So, esophagus, uh, esophagus, that me, the body. They are the cup medulla, they are the cup mouth part, mouth part of the organism. So they are the esophagus, nerve ring around the esophagus, and they extend from the nerve cord. And then they have separate sets except gastrodora, and then the fertilization is external. The fertilization for this species is external. Oh. So for class of mollusca, so Young snail is under gastropoda. So there are some exceptions for gastropoda. So the first exception is they do not have separate steps. And also the second exception is uh second exception is where uh, is there are not bilateral symmetry for snail. Huh. So gas class gastropoda, the example is a uh, hadina is species name snail. And then the glass chela cat haloboda, uh, cuttlefish. And then another class is bival, bivalivia oyster. Ah, uh, oyster. Ah, that is makan sedap kan? <laughs> Memang sedap. Ah, uh, yang ni pun under class of mollusca. So yang ni awak tengok tiga tiga organism ni mereka ada shell dulu. They have the shell around uh around the surface. Uh, but yang ni tak ada lah, yang ni mem- actually it has a shell but yang ni picture dia tak ada shell so and you see all the body are very smooth, uh, very soft uh, awak, awak tekan, awak sentuh mereka, mereka akan sentuh mereka macam uh, lumpur-lumpur sahaja lah uh, okay. so actually this file is very easy, not complicated so actually this file finish so hopefully you can scan this QR code uh, so that I can know what problem and any video comment about this video. Thank you.